Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you uh, how to save data in database using application DB context. So here we have a application DB context, you know that and uh, here we have a application settings uh, in this file, you can see. So in the last video tutorial you have already seen that about the con uh, ASP.Controller, there is data. So. Uh, also we have a migration that is initial migration okay so and also register that connection string in this uh, file so here we have a use the sql server configuration dot get connection string default connection so after that we have to seeding the data using application db context so you can use on override on model creating so here you can see that uh, based on on model creating just after you you can see that uh, model builder dot so you have model builder dot entity dot uh, category dot has data oops and in which you can add a new entity new category and in the category you have to uh, say that id equals to 1 and the name equals to uh, id is 101 and uh, name is category a so this is the data category does not contain a definition of the name so just go for the model section and just go for the category so here we have only title in the category section so just application db context and replace with the title so here we have a seeding data that is uh, id is 101 and title is a and just go for the migration and use migration and migration update db and you can see that uh, your data is seeding in the database table so after that you have to use update database command by using a uh, simple method you can use it here uh, by using own model creating so here we have a own model creating an application db context by using this model builder dot entity dot category dot has data you can just put that data uh, in the database table like the new category id with the name okay now after that uh, just seeding the data into into the database table you can check the data by using swagger api So here you can see that uh, API slash category executed. Okay, so here we have uh, that is the ID is created 1001 and title is A. So here this is the uh, seeding of the data in web API. Now after that, just if you want to put that image in, uh, in the database table and uh, you can use that post method and in the controller section so here we have a, a get action method get by id and here you can see that from body by using you can just add the category into the database table by using their id and title so if you want to add image inside the category so just you can uh, add two para two more parameter in the um, category table like from uh, i form file so here we have a iform file and that, that is the uh, file URI and also set a string type of property. 
the absolute actual actual file you are right okay so here we have a iPhone file that is not mapped with the database table so just you can use not map attribute because you want to uh, know that uh, iPhone file is actually not related with your any type so just you can use not mapped and actual file name is a type of the string and you can say that this is the nullable type okay and after that you just go for the migration also so add migration add migration update image update image just you want to add image in the database table so just add update image attribute and after that you have to use update database now you just go for the update database and you you can see that your mm, your data is actually added in the table that is uh, that is the actual file you are okay so now how to uh, add that file URI uh, using the postman in uh, ASP.NET Core so here you can see that the category controller and here you can see that the file just I want to uh, upload the image into the uh, first of all uh, inside it here so here you can see that uh, image folder so here you can say that image folder so here you can see that here we have a utility folder and uh, uh, under the utility folder we have an image folder so just I want to uh, upload the image in the image folder and get the image folder uh, path to store the database table so here you can see that uh, uh, body uh, from body so you can say that from form first of all change the name that is from form um, with the category and after that you can use that upload image method so here we have a upload image method here we have a iPhone file and that return the string type that is the actual path of the uh, database URL so here we have a special uh, variable where you have to guid.new guid.to string that is created and after that we have to file path so just get the file path by using path.combine directory.get current directory that is the directory is test web api yt is the current directory under the uh, um, current directory we have a this path that is utility under the images so you have uh, uh, under the utility dot image only not as images so and just i want to save that a special uh, with the file name file dot file name and that just i want to um, upload that image in the folder so you can use file stream class with the file mode that is create and use with the file path at here and after that just I want to uh, save that file by using file.copy to async MS and the file name is special that that dash is file dot file name special is actually GUID and after that you have to use path dot combine that is utility underscore images sorry image and the file name so utility underscore images that is the uh, file name that is stored in the database table so the path is actually that is this not the uh, that is the current directory that is not included at here so here we have so you can use if you want to save that uh, file path that is the file name you have to use this so if you want to use path dot combine instead of this if you want to save uh, if you want to return file path that is the directory dot current directory utility images and the file name with the special folder so just return also the file path okay so this is the file path actually just I want to return and save this uh, Im into the images okay and if you want to get the current directory that is the this and images okay so everything is fine now uh, after that you can use that file path here 
so you can use it here uh, that is the string path and path is getting from upload image cat dot file url line file uri that is the cat dot file url that is iphone file so use this actual file url that is the path and save this into the database table so after that uh, just use and uh, check by using the postman okay so just open first of all category uh, model and here we have a id title and the file uh, actual file url instead of actual file uri just use file uri and in the postman In the postman you can see that here we have this is the path actually so not there just create new URL API slash API slash controller that is category and that is the post method okay so just I want to use body and from data that is from form and the key is id the id is value is 1002 and the key is what title title is uh, kitchen and uh, that is the name of your file of the under the category table so you can see that here we have a file uri so just copy and paste right here and here you can see that this is the file actually and just select the file from the uh, database table so just i want to use and upload this If you got tap, uh, if you got any type of error, I will resolve it. So if you uh, just I want to add that data in the for, from form, so just remove that ID because that is identity column, so that is incremented automatically. So just add this uh, kitchen. Oops, Could not resolved. Okay, that is connection is disposed. So just to start it again, and uh, you can see that your data is updated successfully wait for some times and you can see that your data will update it and just click on the send button okay so here we have a status message that is 200 and you can see in the uh, upload folder image folder you can see that here we have a image that is this that is fine so now after that uh, you can see in the database table that is actual path of the image file so you can just see in the view data file so here we have a string path of it upload image cat dot file url and the cat dot actual file url that is path and context dot category is that that's this is the actual information getting from the database table so that is, this is the category so wait for some times and updated uh, just after a few seconds. So the actual file URL that is stored in the database table that is C drive this this information API dot test and this is and more and you can see that uh, test web utility images and that's fine. This is the actual URL that is saved in the database table by this. Okay and uh, this is the uh, web api tutorial if you want to save image into the database table 
and uh, upload the image in your uh, in your computer or the uh, URL if you want to save uh, Azure account so you can see uh, my next video thank you very much for watching this video